We're talking about PAE today. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Alexi Smith. And today I am back with another video for you guys, a requested video, a freshers guide into Pan-Atlantic University. So if you haven't heard about PAU, kind of doubt if you live in this Lagos and you haven't heard of PAU. But anyways, it is a non-profit educational institution and it's a private university that is in Lagos. So I made like a day in my life video and I got lot of requests to do a freshers guide and i got a lot of questions that i know i haven't answered yet and i have my reason why i haven't answered some of the questions were like oh what is the um school fees for business admin i don't do business admin i do mass communication although um i'll find out from maybe like one of my friends that does the course I'm aware that some of you have gotten your admissions in the Pan Atlantic University. If you have and you're watching this, congratulations. Um, I'm wishing you the very best in life. But if you haven't and you're thinking of you know going there, this can also be a very useful video for you as well. I'm not going to go into any of the basic stuff because when you enter PAU, for those of you that are going to enter you know next semester, you're going to have a three-day orientation, and in that three-day orientation, they're going to tell you. All the things you need to know baby you know all like the baby things you need to know but then like there's some things that they might not mention to you some things that you might want to know on the side you know just to be on the safe side that is the point of this video today anyways without wasting any more of your time let's really really actually get into this video so um the first thing we're going to talk about is dress code like I said, during your three-day orientation, they're going to take you through the basic things you need to know, like not to wear like anything sleeveless, don't wear anything above your knee, and all that. But just the basic thing is that you just don't wear anything revealing, like anything you know that you cannot wear to an official place, don't bother wearing it into this school building. You're not going to go through the gate. The second thing I'm going to go into is security. And when it comes to like dress code, like how people should dress, it has been sort of like this like observation like i've observed it too they are just kind of like biased when it comes to like bigger people and the way they dress so if you know that like you are on the bigger side i suggest that like you are extra, extra a, bit, a bit extra when it comes to your dressing and i know that sucks it shouldn't be like a problem to be on the bigger side but just to keep yourself from any unnecessary drama or any unnecessary embarrassment i just suggest that you try you know to be a bit more careful when choosing your outfits for school it sucks it really does i i don't support that rubbish no then also under security again Another thing I would advise you is just see anything, any security person that you see, just try and avoid their wahala. If you know that your case is like justifiable, like it's something that you, you know you should fight about, then I would encourage you to. It's good you speak up. But if you know it's something that is very like small, something very little, I just personally would suggest that to be on the safer side, you just ignore and avoid them. I should have talked about this I should have talked about the second point before this security one. I'm so sorry. Um, it's about hostels. Yes. So before you enter into Panasonic University as like a fresher, even not even everybody, everybody in general, like for you, like start or resume another semester, you have to pick your hostels. So I'm not really sure about like hostels for guys, but I'm going to be talking about hostels for girls. So if you're a guy watching this, please, if you know anybody that is like a guy that can pay you. I would suggest you ask them first to, you know, let them advise you which hostel you should go to. So in girls' hostels, we have Cedar Hostel, Trinity Hostel, Pearl Hostel, Tresada Hostel, and then there's a new hostel that is coming up. I think it's called Cooperative, but it's for girls. I think Cedar should be the most popular hostel among the other hostels in PAU, like popular hostel for girls in PAU, and that's why it gets taken very quickly. Although it's a good hostel, though, I mean, every hostel has its own wahala, but I think that's either in like for now, like as the least wahala. 
That's why everybody is always like rushing there. Although, like I said, every hostel has their own wahala or looking for the hostel that has to list wahala. So, what hostel would I suggest you go to as a girl? I mean, it really depends. It really depends, to be honest with you. I mean, I think the one that I would not like recommend for anybody, like genuinely, is Pearl Hostel. <laughs> Okay? Okay? It's the ghetto. The ghetto! The ghetto! The ghetto! If you're somebody who likes to cook though, like I think Pearl would be great for you because they have kitchens on every floor. I don't know, I think you should just check it out yourself so you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so Trinity Hostel is also good as well. I was in Trinity Hostel in year one. Like, the main problem I had Trinity was that they only had one kitchen so it was very difficult for me to cook because i was on the like topmost floor so i had to like be coming down every single time it was just very stressful um trezadel i don't even know what the problem is with trezadel i think the main problem with trezadel is that like i think something about like not having water and like stuff like that like look there's a lot of they, look every hostel like i said they have their own issue so if you want to know the hostel that you should go to, I suggest you actually speak to somebody who has been in that hostel and they can tell you if they recommend it or not. For me, that's been to Trinity. Trinity is okay. Like I really like a, a 7 out of 10. The only problem is just the fact that there's only one kitchen and also there were baths in the hostel. Yeah. Anyways, cocoa of the matter is choose your hostels wisely so you don't end up regressing it at the end of the day i heard that the new hostel which is the cooperative girls hostel might be ready by the time we resume so i don't know how that hostel is i haven't like gone to see it for myself but i heard it's okay though but yeah i suggest that like if you want to go to the hostel because it will be ready i suggest you go to pau to actually look at it yourself so like you can say that okay i've seen it and i'm satisfied with it like you get then we're going over to academics um i think this one is gonna take a lot of my time because i really want to go deep into this because i feel like this is something i kind of um took for granted <laughs> mm. Child. the only thing is when i first entered into pae during my three days orientation um, somebody i don't remember who said this but it was a man he was like all of you that are here like once you enter into pae you you're not going to rest and I was like, Sir? Amo, um, he was serious, so <laughs> you will not rest. So basically, this is how it is, yeah? Your CAs take up 35% of your entire score, and then the remaining 65% is for your exams. So your CAs include your assignments, your classworks, your tests, and then the extra 5% is for class participation, while the remaining 65% that make up 100% are yeah, your exams. The hack to actually like pass your courses, I would advise you that you actually do well in your CAs. Your CAs are very, very important. Cause I know once you hear that five percent is like, mm, I beg like that doesn't really. Oh baby, no, that ain't gonna work. No, that thirty-five percent can do so much. The other thirty-five percent can take it to an A. Your assignments, your classworks, make sure you do them. Like I know at some point, like you can be discouraged because you feel like there's a lot of like work on you, and you're just entering into university, and you don't know what to do, and you're overwhelmed and everything. But I beg of you, do your assignments and do your classworks well to help you with your grades. And that five percent for participation, please take it seriously as well, especially. If you are going to be a mass comm student, you cannot escape talking. <laughs> like, you have to talk. I don't know about other courses, but for mass comm, you have to talk. Like, I know it will be very, like, you know, scary at first because I'm just new to this school. Like, I'm not talking. But at some point, you actually have to get used to it. And you have to do a lot of class presentations, a lot of, like, talking, speeches, especially in your first semester. You're going to talk a lot. But even if you are saying no, at least just but contributors say anything doesn't matter pay you to the pay teachers are very nice they will listen to you and they get sense out of nonsense that's how they are then for your exams i also suggest that you you know like work really hard for that as well although like exams for me like personally i feel like exams are way tougher than like your test and your C's. but like you know that's just me 
everybody has like different experiences then some of the like little rules that you need to know like you can't like use your phones in class you can't talk a lot in class or they'll send you out you can't even be a minute late to class especially those of you that are just starting in 100 level like baby one shot 901 class starts by nine go back to your store or wait outside they're not going to let you into the class so just forget it my fourth point for you guys today <sighs> don't do drugs zone do it in PAU what they do is they just call people randomly and make you do a drug test and once you fail the drug test they will kick you out of the school immediately so if you know that you don't want to you know leave the school i would really really suggest that you stay away from drugs and also like if you are around people that like smoke weed and like, yeah do drugs and stuff like that and like you inhale like the smoke it can be sh like it will show during the test even though you didn't actually like smoke the weed so you have to be very careful of what you are inhaling also as a PAU student I would also really suggest that wherever you're going make it private okay it's not every single thing that you post on your story if you know you know here you actually pays people to snitch on other people I know that's that's crazy and the amount they pay them is actually a lot of money I don't know the amount but it is a lot of money and you know people you know in this economy would happily accept that money and snitch on other people not me though i'm not a coward but some people will they will this even brings me to my last point be careful of the kind of friends you carry i cannot even stress this thing you know see university is not like secondary school university is bigger different people coming from different backgrounds everybody has their own ideas and beliefs and what they like what they don't like how they behave how they don't behave everybody's just different i suggest that you just stay low-key people know like people like everybody knows this person everybody knows this person. so you don't want just to just be casting anyhow like it's, it's not it's not worth it find people that understand you people that you like can relate to people that are actually also academically driven so choose your friends very wisely focus on yourself your mental health when i entered into pau yep i was so overwhelmed that like i would cry almost every day like i was completely like it was so new for me like i just came from secondary school like i didn't know what i was doing i remember the first time i missed class and i was, I was crying my eyes out like oh I'm like killing myself oh also yeah attendant if you don't have 80 percent for your attendance there is a possibility that you will not write the exam for that course and you have to carry over the course unless maybe like something happened to you and like you fell sick and then you miss like a few weeks of school or something like that then you have a letter written and they'll give you your pass if not if your attendance is not up to 80 percent also don't let anybody sign for you because it's not allowed if they catch you well, your mentor is very important make sure you meet your mentor all the time to you know advise you on what to do if you have friends that are in like higher years like year four year three maybe even year two you can ask them you know we have a little experience you can ask them you know things you need to know and you'll be fine trust me alex promises if you see me in school and you're going to pay and you are suffering come and slap me because no don't slap me i'm joking i'm joking please <laughs> I feel like that's all you really, 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 really need to know, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, we've come to the end of this video. I hope I have been able to answer a few of your questions. If you have any other questions you want to ask me, feel free to message me on Instagram. My IG is going to be in the description box below, so please message me and I will answer you again please don't forget to like share and subscribe and you know follow me follow me on my social media platforms thanks thank you for watching and i will maybe see you in my next video bye